13 inch MacBook Air Retina model A 1932 years 2018 and 2019 trackpad replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is completely shut down and flip it over. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. The back cover is secured with 10 pentalope screws. The top four are slightly different and the rest of the six are short. Go ahead and remove them and set them in a line so that you remember where they go. Once the screws are removed, lift up the MacBook. We'll need to pry apart the cover. It's clipped in. So with just a little bit of resistance, you should be able to pop it right off. Before we proceed, we need to pull the power on the battery. Go ahead and locate the battery connection. And with a plastic tool, gently pry in and push it out of its socket. Unfortunately, the trackpad is connected underneath the logic board, so we need to remove it. Go ahead and remove the two T4 screws that are guarding the trackpad connection cable bracket. With the two T4 screws removed, remove the bracket and pop it out of the socket. Go ahead and remove the two T4 screws that are securing the bracket that secures the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna cables. Move that out of the way and pop those out. Now pop up that lash that guards the audio jack and move that out of the way. Go ahead and pop up the lash and disconnect the fan. Now work your way down and go ahead and pop out the right speaker. Now remove the two T4 screws that are securing the Thunderbolt bracket. Those two screws uh, removed, go ahead and remove that and pop out the Thunderbolt. Now we can go ahead and remove the six T5 screws. As you see here, two on the right side, two in the middle, and two on the left side. Now we can go ahead and lift up the board. There's the connection. Lift up that little lever there and go ahead and finally disconnect the uh, trackpad. It's still glued on, so you might have to uh, work it out of the board. Now the trackpad is attached with nine T5 screws. Go ahead uh, and remove the two T5 screws in each corner with those. Uh, Eight removed the center ninth screw holds it in place go ahead and remove that slightly lift up the uh, top case and then just slide out the trackpad reassembly when placing back the trackpad you'll notice uh, four little posts go ahead and place those back as you see here and then the one in the center. Go ahead and open up the Mac and slide in that cable like you see in the following orientation. Align everything and drop it down. Secure the center screw first, then wiggle around and align the trackpad and then place back the remaining eight T5 screws. With the screws placed back, go ahead and work the ribbon cable back into the keyboard. Press down on the eyelash, lock it in place. Now you can flip the logic board back. Make sure no cables are trapped. Set it in place. Start plugging back some of the connections like the trackpad first. The uh, right speaker, plug that in. Go ahead and plug in the Thunderbolt. Okay, go ahead and plug in the fan and secure the eyelash. Now place back the uh, six T5 screws that are securing the logic board. Remember, there's two on the left, two on the right, and two in the middle. Now go ahead and place back that audio cable and lock that in place as well. This one takes a while, but go ahead and 
plug in the antenna cables, mess around with that. I'll cut that part out, place back the bracket, place back the two T4 screws on the bracket for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna cables. Go ahead and place back the bracket for the trackpad. Secure those two T4 screws as well. Now the last bracket, the Thunderbolt bracket, place that back and secure those two T4 screws and we're set. Reconnect the battery power cable to the logic board by sliding it into its socket. Put back the cover and give it a nice firm push when you have it aligned so that it clicks in. Go ahead and put back the four screws. As you can see, the longest two go in the center and then the other ones go in each corner. And then the shorter screws all go around the remainder of the contour of the back. This concludes the tutorial. Help support our content by subscribing.